Hi, good afternoon, everybody. I'm here today with our interim city manager, Chief Robert Parker, and uh, we're going to do a recap from Monday night's uh, council meeting. Uh, we did not have a workshop this time. It's been a while since we have not had one. Anyway, we kicked the meeting off at 6.30. Uh, we had roll call. We had two council members that were missing. Uh, Councilwoman King and Councilman Snyder, both absent with notice. Uh, then uh, next thing we went into announcements. Mayor Pro Tem Neal had two, uh, several announcements. The uh, public library was having teen mental health discussions on the 23rd of September from 6.30 to 7.30. So we can reach out to the library for more details on that. And then he had a rather boisterous announcement for the Clear the Shelters uh, on uh, this coming weekend. Uh, Councilman Taylor uh, made another uh, request to citizens about uh, board openings. Uh, we do have uh, numerous board openings. So we're looking for applications. And then I had, uh, I thank the fire department and the police department. I believe I skipped the police department at the meeting, but uh, for the... Uh, 9-11 ceremony that we had on Saturday. It went very well. Uh, and I wanna, I wanna thank the fire department and the police department uh, for what they did to get that. Our IDT department also uh, videotaped that and uh, videotaped the speech of mine ahead of time. Mayor, also on that, um, it was a great moment for the Watauga Police Department. We have recreated our honor guard and this was our first appearance for our new honor guard. So we had four of our honor guard members there to uh, help commemorate the 9-11. Uh, yep. And they all did a great job, every, every one of them. They looked sharp and, and uh, the program went well. And then the last thing I announced was the rental assistance program that's still out there for Tarrant County. So with that, we went into presentations. Uh, Chief Parker? Yes, sir. I had the great honor and privilege to uh, recognize one of our uh, court clerks, Magenta Lander Landers, has been with us for five years, and uh, we recognized her for that and celebrated her anniversary. And she's another employee that started uh, somewhere else and has worked her way up through uh, through the ranks. Uh, yes, she sir. started with the rec department, if I remember right. right. That is correct. Okay. Uh, next, we had a presentation, a uh, proclamation recognizing September as Senior Center Month. And then we went into public comment. We had several people speak under, under public comment. The most notable one, uh, was the gentleman speaking about the uh, safety issue at the corner of Starnes and uh, Roof Snow. Yes, sir. And that was his second time to speak with us. Uh, we had, uh, was it four accidents in three weeks or three accidents in four weeks? We've had several accidents yeah. there, and the unique part of that intersection is part of it belongs to the city of North Richland Hills and part of it belongs to Watauga. So we're cooperatively working with North Richland Hills to try to come up with some resolutions. Okay. And his biggest concern was the fact that the lady that lives at that corner, at that intersection, has has her house hit numerous times. At least one recently. So uh, we're looking into that, and we'll discuss that further on here in the, in, in, under the agenda. Uh, but there is a, a stoplight there. There is. So uh, Anyway, then we went into public testimony. We had numerous people, people speak in the public testimony about uh, uh, the tax rate. And again, we'll mention that here further in. And then we moved into the consent agenda. Uh, the consent agenda, as a reminder to everybody, is normal household stuff that uh, no need to discuss it. Uh, if any council member wants to discuss it, they can have it pulled from the consent agenda and move to action items. But other than that, like I said, it's just housekeeping. We vote on it. No discussion, uh, make a motion, a second, and vote. So item one, uh, Chief? Yeah, item one was uh, adoption of the fiscal year 21-22 classification plan for employees. And, and we do that every year. It's just basically making sure everybody's in line in the right classification that they're supposed to be in and just making sure we have everything in the, the order they're supposed to be. Okay. And then item two, sir? Um, yeah, that was uh, an interlocal agreement between the city of Watauga, the city of North Richland Hills, the city of Haltom City, and the city of Richland Hills on continuing our teen court program where when teens get some sort of a, a minor violation, they can go to teen court and work through the process there rather than having it on their record. And uh, that is held in North Richland Hills. They have a uh, their own teen court courtroom. Yes, uh, I've been to it, visited it, and watched uh, some of the... Uh, 
action there. And, uh, and it is overseen by a municipal judge as well. Yes, and, and it, it's a good thing. Uh, anything you can do to keep a teen from going down the wrong road, uh, the wrong path is good. Uh, item three was uh, we just approved the minutes from numerous meetings. Uh, and then item four. Item four was our capital outlay plan for the year. Uh, each year in preparation for our budget and what we're going to do the upcoming year, we have to prepare capital projects, what's going to cost a lot of money, and how we're going to prioritize those. And that's what this was. We just approved that plan uh, for all the big projects that we're going to do and what kind of capital outlay we're going to have to have. And that was also where we had several workshops Yes. with that yes. up to this date. And staff held several meetings to get to that point, to have workshops as well. So there's a lot of staff input on capital outlay projects. Item five and six were also yours, sir. Yes, sir. Um, item five was uh, an ordinance uh, adopting the personnel improvement plan. What the personnel improvement plan is, is what are we going to do in the future for the city of Watauga? How are we going to... Um, acquire and place our personnel within the city how many do we think we're going to need and and how are we going to budget for that over the next several years and and that plan was adopted by the council uh, item number six is uh, was a resolution uh, amending policy 6.04 classification compensation plan it kind of falls right in line with that other plan we were just talking about it's just annual housekeeping making sure that everything is where it's supposed to be all right and then we moved into public hearing. If we were scheduled to have four public hearings, item one and item two, uh, they were postponed to the next regular council meeting, which should be October 11th. Uh, they were postponed because of a legal technicality. Uh, we're required to uh, a minimum of 15 to 16 days, uh, depending on how you read the law, uh, on having notice of the public hearing published in the newspaper. And we missed that. Uh, we submitted it in a timely fashion. The newspaper did not get it published as quickly as we had wished or as we needed to. So for that reason, those were pulled from the agenda. Item three was a public hearing on uh, the uh, ad valorem tax rate. And item four was on uh, proposed changes to the city's user fees. Uh, we had. Uh, like I said earlier, several people speak on the uh, tax issue, uh, but we, uh, we we had the public hearing, listened to their input. Those items were closed, and we moved into action items. Uh, item number one was uh, to appoint an interim city secretary. For those that don't know, our other interim city secretary who had accepted the job uh, quit two days after that, or three days after that, and, uh, two or three doesn't really matter, uh, which left us with no city secretary. Luckily, uh, three years ago, we had another interim city secretary, uh, Terry Johnson, who was still available, yep. so we picked her up. So, uh, outstanding city secretary, an ex-city manager, yes, sir. Uh, and has worked for the city of Watauga before, so she just fit right in, uh, slid in, uh, didn't miss a beat. So we're, we're very lucky there. Uh, item two, sir, uh, records management. Yep, item two was uh, a resolution for records management. And what the records management is, is to make sure we're following all the rules and, and going by a set of standards and keeping our records and using the, the retention schedule as it's supposed to be and keeping and destroying in a timely fashion within the standards. So we've adopted that. Um, and continue that process so uh, we make sure we're doing everything the right way. So some more of that legal stuff that costs us a lot of money we have to do. Yes, sir. So, uh, all right, and item three was uh, accepting or acknowledging the uh, resignation of Council Member Juanita King. Uh, she moved out of the city and therefore was no longer eligible uh, to remain on the council. So uh, she resigned, and that seat is now empty, and we will put that as a special election in the upcoming May election, uh, much the same as we did uh, place one with this last election. Right. Uh, let's see, item four 
Yeah. Uh, that's yours, sir? Yes, sir. Four that, and five. Um, number four is uh, very important to uh, the city and the citizens. It is uh, the adoption of the um, annual city budget by ordinance. Every year we have to do this in a certain timeline, and we have met all the legal requirements to do so, and council did adopt our budget for this year, and we'll be able to continue business as usual. Um, item five is uh, a door, an ordinance adopting... Uh, Approving the fiscal year 2021-22 annual service plan update, much like we said earlier, this is another housekeeping item where we just make sure that the, the service plan is in line with what we're doing and adjusting it as we go each year. Okay. All right. Uh, back up real quick to uh, Ms. King's resignation. Uh, I do want to thank her publicly for the uh, time she did serve on the council, uh, the long hours. Many, many, many long meetings uh, with no pay and a lot of time with no appreciation. <laughs> so uh, I do thank her for that and wish her well in her future. So item six, uh, adopt an ordinance by city council on the ad valorem taxes, uh, which, which we approved. Yes, uh, and also take this opportunity to remind people that thanks to the I believe it was the 86th legislature uh, that changed the wording. It has to be worded as a tax increase, even though we did lower the tax rate. Not by a whole lot, but we did lower it by a little bit. Uh, and then item seven was, uh, uh, let's see, same thing, property tax uh, having to do with the increase. Uh, we, we did approve that. Council did approve that. Uh, and again, technically it is a tax increase, even though we, we did have a rollback on the rate. Uh, and see, then we went into uh, the library, I had a resignation for a library board member. Uh, that led to a little bit of a lively discussion and a uh, uh, somewhat strange vote. Yes. Uh, but uh, under legal advice, uh, Ms. Gardner and I, since uh, I guess three years ago, that's uh, because of what's referred to as holdover yeah. and, and such. Uh, this had to come back before us. We've had changes to Chapter 2 uh, under Code of Ordinances, uh, so this may change where this doesn't have to come back. If it does come back, we may just put it onto the uh, consent agenda. But uh, a little lively debate there. Then we went into reports. Uh, I, sub I uh, appointed a subcommittee for city secretary uh, search, uh, and that is be myself, Mayor Pro Tem Neal, and Councilwoman Hill. Uh, items for future agenda. Uh, Again, uh, the gentleman that spoke about uh, the, the issues with storms and roof snow, that's going to be brought up on a future agenda, uh, probably as a workshop. So if anybody's interested in that intersection, uh, come attend the workshop and Let's discuss it. Um, also, there was a couple of other items uh, about recreational vehicles being parked and loaded and unloaded and cleaned that uh, will likely come up soon. And as you mentioned just now, the uh, board and commissions and committee resignations, how we're going to handle those in the future. All right. So uh, then we went into a, another executive session. And uh, three items we, that uh, were discussed in executive session. Uh, was legal advice regarding uh, the place five vacancy, uh, economic incentives for Smiley Transportation, and legal advice regarding the public uh, improvement district for Park Vista. And the council took no action on any of those items again. Uh, as I've mentioned numerous times, we'll go into executive session and we'll have lots of lively debate uh, lots of direction from our legal counsel, uh, and there may or may not be an opportunity to take action on those items. Uh, and then they'll go back for further negotiations or whatever. But we took no action on those, and we actually adjourned the meeting at 9, at 9.04, right. one of the shortest meetings it, we've had. It was, but it was one of the most productive meetings, I think, it, that we've had in a while. It was. Well, anytime we, we get the budget passed, that's... Uh, that's a good thing. 
it's, it's never good to shut down the government. And unlike the federal government, we have to maintain a balanced budget. Yes, sir. So uh, kudos to all the finance people uh, that, that we know they put in a lot of hours, as did the, the other staff members in getting the preliminary budgets moved ahead to, to be presented to council. And council made their changes. They went back and everything back and forth and, and until the final product was presented and approved. So thank you to everybody for that. You know, Mayor, on that topic, uh, a lot of people probably don't know just how much work goes into a budget. Um, but it, it starts at mid-level management and goes all the way up to the top of the number of people that work on it. So uh, specifically in the police department, we have sergeants that, that have input on the budget and the needs of the department, and other departments do the same thing. And we on the capital outlay uh, program, there's a lot of people who have input on that, and it all gets funneled up. and decisions get made and it, it, it works out well but there's a lot of work that goes into it there is and, and there's a lot of a lot of items on your wish list that just disappear yes sir things that would make your job easier uh, more productive for not just you but all the other departments that the money the funds just aren't there and that's what if you if you don't come to the workshops if you don't stay involved in it you don't see those back and forth transactions and a lot some of the citizens just assume uh, that the city manager said, here, this is what I want, and we roll over and say, that's fine with us. But uh, it's not quite that simple. It is not. So a lot of work in, and again, uh, congratulations to everybody on getting those, getting the budgets done and all the long hours, and, and uh, uh, we live another year. Yes, sir. So with that, uh, we don't have, uh, we're looking at probably canceling the next council meeting, which is, I believe, the 27th. 27th of September. Uh, since with the budget cleaned up, that's that's a large majority of it. So we'll all just take a deep breath. Next meeting should be the 11th. We'll bring those two public hearing items back, and uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, congratulations on your uh, advancement. Thank you. And uh, temporary as it may be. Yes, sir. I'm honored to be uh, yeah. chosen to to be placed in that position uh, as an interim city manager. Uh, to me, it. it means that y'all think a lot of me and I appreciate the opportunity to be here and learn from it. We do and we have all the confidence in the world that you could do a good job but I hope we find a new city manager quickly. Me too. <laughs> and that we can uh, that we continue to move on. So with that thank you everybody and have a good afternoon.